It's a common experience shared by top innovators and entrepreneurs and CEOs in every industry all the time. But the further they progress in the industry and the more they learn throughout their professional lives, the more they realize that simple is just better than complicated. When I think back to the early days of my marketing career, I can see how much I overcomplicated things. It's inevitable, isn't it? When you're new and you have a lot to prove, and it often feels like the best way to prove yourself is to know more obscure, complex stuff than your peers. But then time went on and I gradually realized the best results usually come from the simplest strategies. That's not to say that new, innovative, out-of-the-box ideas are bad, but they have to be grounded in a simple understanding of what it is you're actually trying to achieve. And for a beauty marketer, what it is you're actually trying to do is build brand awareness, generate interest, sell products, make sure your customers come back to you and buy and buy again. A brand recently asked me for feedback on their digital design, and it got me thinking about the brands with design strategies that really stand out and why they stand out. This is where a drunk elephant enters. Curious as to why this brand sprung to mind quickly, I spent a bit of time analyzing their design to unpack why it's so effective. And this is what I learned. Good design isn't just about looking nice. It's about function. It's really common for a new brand to reach the digital design stage and say, this side needs to be beautiful. But actually putting beauty first isn't what you need to do when you're designing a beauty brand's digital presence. Function comes first. Because the design that functions well is the design that feels good. And the design that feels good converts sales. A website that's easy to navigate and puts everything the visitor needs within reach in a logical layout with quick frictionless purchasing options is much more likely to drive sales than a website that looks beautiful. But it isn't easy to get around. Think of it this way. You're not designing something to look at. You're designing something to use. Drunk Elephant site is wonderfully functional and unfussy. It gives you easy access to the shop interface at every turn and enables you to add products to your basket from the product index pages without having to click into the product itself, allowing for speedy shopping for repeat customers who already know what they're looking for. Its category drop-down menu is divided into a small number of easy to understand categories, body care, hair care, best sellers, kits and gifts. And when it comes to checking out, you can create an account or quickly check out as a guest if you really want to. And there's a buy now, pay later option to increase the ease of purchase. Graphics and text are better when they're developed together. The most obvious thing about Drunk Elephant's design is the way it uses blocks of bold color to segment information, lighten the mood and draw the eye. This is probably the first reason the brand jumped to my mind when I was thinking about designs that stand out for me that are particularly effective because the use of color blocking makes the experience positive, feel good, and that makes it really memorable. It's also very clear the text and graphics are developed together rather than separately by copywriters and designers and then mashed together awkwardly at the end. It feels like the designers had an understanding of the copy and the copywriters had an understanding of the design and they collaborated to create something that really works. All caps are hard to read. Okay, I didn't actually learn this one from Drunk Elephant although they do reject capital letters quite a lot and often don't use them uh, for the start of their sentences. But one particular brand aside, I had to include this point. Research has found, as noted by Harvard's Digital Accessibility Guide, that using all caps reduces readability because all the words appear as though uniform rectangle and readers are unable to quickly identify familiar words by their shape, which is a big part of how we read. You can be forgiven for using all caps for a button or a headline here and there, but don't present an entire page or product description in all caps. Just don't do it. You've got to understand eyeballs. What do eyeballs do? They don't just move downwards in a linear motion. They dart from side to side here and there, move in circular motions and follow focal points. Website design shouldn't demand that a visitor's eyeballs start at the top and read down. It should accommodate zigzag movements and work with the natural tendencies of our eyes. As you can see, Drunk Elephant's designers know this. Blocks of text and color, blocks containing text or images are positioned on either side of the page to draw the eye across and down in a zigzag movement. It feels comfortable and easy to follow, making it functional for the human body. Breaking a pattern shows the viewer what's most important right now. I mentioned focal points in the last point, 
but Drunk Elephant does more than just zigzag positioning to bring the viewer's attention to the most important piece of information at any given moment. Patterns, or more specifically breaking a pattern, can create a focal point that gives the viewer a clear, immediate understanding of where to look, what to read, and what matters most within the design experience right now. One of the ways Drunk Elephant does this is by adding animated features to otherwise static pages, because anything that's moving will automatically draw the eye. The clickable word shop appears several times on the site's homepage instead of a more overt CTA button. And each time it appears, it's followed by a blinking vertical line. It may not be visually beautiful, but it's a beautiful design because that simple blinking line makes you look at the word shop now. Include humans and real ones. At the time of me recording this, the Drunk Elephant homepage had one professional photograph of a model wearing makeup, but it also has this. This isn't just a link to an Instagram. It's also strategically placed display of real human faces, showing potential customers that other real humans are engaged with the brand. It creates an instant sense of relatability, trust and warmth. And those are all big indicators of whether a new site visitor will convert into a, pay a paying product wearing brand content sharing customer. What do all of these points have in common? They're simple, clever, meticulously well thought out, but not at all complicated.